Hi, this is Bill Frank with KADY TV, reporting from the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in Simi Valley, and I'm joined by a very special guest, John Highbush, who is the CEO of the Ronald Reagan Foundation. John, thank you so much for being my guest today. Absolutely, Bill. And we're here to cover the NASA Moonrock exhibit, which is just one of the many exhibits that the foundation and the library have for us here in Ventura County. First of all, tell us, how did the Moonrock exhibit, how did you attract them here to Ventura County and to the Ronald Reagan? Reagan Library. Well, as you know, Bill, we cut the ribbon, Mrs. Reagan cut the ribbon on the brand new Reagan Museum just over a year ago, which has an enormous number of interactive exhibits. It's a special place for learning whether you're 6 or 96. We feel an obligation at the Reagan Library to always refresh what we have and to always provide something new for our visitors. And so this exhibit from NASA is just one more example of that. Um, we scout the, so we scour the countryside, the, the world, frankly, um, every month looking out ahead to see what might be unique and interesting to bring to the Reagan Library. And this NASA exhibit with a moon rock included is just one example of that. So it'll be here two days and we invite people to come out and, and um, touch a piece of the moon. Well, it is a part of our national treasure, and I'm glad that you're bringing it here to Ventura County. One of the wonderful things about the foundation, about the library itself, is all of the different exhibits that you bring here, and probably one of the most underutilized resources in all of Ventura. So tell us a little bit about some of the more memorable exhibits that you've brought here and what it's meant to our county. Well, uh, you know, just to give you a few examples, uh, a couple of hundred yards right behind me, we presently have a, a, a world-class exhibit on George Washington, our first president. It, it, it contains everything from, you know, his, the, the only remaining surviving set of dentures that the president himself wore, uh, all the way to age-regressed, computer-generated uh, facial features of the president so you could see what he looked like as a young man all the way through to his time as a presidency. That's just one example. We've had other special exhibits here including some of the most unique uh, and fastest of all the NASCAR race cars. We've had the clone car for the Indianapolis 500 winner from last year along with that. Um, coming up in uh, starting in July we're having our largest, most grandest of all our special exhibits here ever at the library. That's going to be brought to us uh, in cooperation with the Walt Disney Company. So there's always something happening here. That's great. Now, John, you're the CEO of the Ronald Reagan Foundation. Tell us, what is your role at the foundation? Well, uh, the Reagan Foundation is really the lifeblood for the library. We are the, uh, the crew that uh, raises money and um, gets people engaged and involved in what happens at the library. Um, we have uh, terrific membership programs that people can sign up for and belong to so they can become part of the day-to-day -day life of the library. Uh, we, we conduct scholarship programs for seniors in high school. Uh, we put kids through uh, college on a yearly basis. Um, and we conduct phenomenal, frankly, world-class programming in which we have some of the world's best speakers and uh, most talented uh, individuals come and, and address uh, varying topics uh, um, you know, that are really contemporary in nature. So. Um, it's always, there's always something happening here. There's always a pulse um, that you can feel from wherever you are in Southern California coming out of the Reagan Library. So people really should take advantage of it. Well, it is palpable. If people want to learn more about the foundation and things that are going on here at the Reagan Library, where would you direct them to go on the internet? Yeah, just, uh, we, we have a world-class website as well, and they just need to go to www.reaganfoundation.org. And, um, uh, they'll get educated pretty quick as to what happens here on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, it is great. John, thank you so much for bringing the Moonrock exhibit and all of the exhibits here to the Ronald Reagan Library. This is Bill Frank reporting for KADY-TV.